G'day, it's Bill here from Sidereal Trading. They say that astronomers do it best in the dark, but what that thing is, we're not specific about. But there's one thing that some astronomers I know do really well in the dark, and that's keep my tripod. I'm sure you've been there as well. Picture this. You've arrived well before sunset, and you've got yourself set up. During twilight, you've polar aligned your rig, and now it's properly dark, you've just started imaging something. All you can see is a couple of LEDs on your equipment, one from the camera and maybe one from the focuser. It's gonna be a good night. But off in the darkness, you can hear footsteps. It's your mate come over to have a yarn. As he approaches, you can hear a clunk sound and the camera LED moves an inch or two. Yes, he's tripped over your tripod. And, all you've, and you've got to do all that setup and polar alignment in the dark again. If only there was some way this could be prevented. Look, I know it happens a lot, and I also know that nobody does it on purpose. But when someone kicks your tripod and ruins your night, it's awful. I think it's worse for the poor guy who did it. They're going to feel really bad. So now I know what you're thinking. Just get a torch. Well, it's not quite as simple as that. Up until now, the red torches you have been able to get have been, let's say, pretty sad. You absolutely can't have white light on an astro field, and pretty much all the modern red torches we've come across come on white, and then you have to change them to red. Of course, by the time you've done that, you've flooded the place with white light, and that ruins everyone's night vision and it destroys images. The one thing it doesn't do is make you any friends. So a while back, we were contacted by Matthew from an Australian company called Astro Night Torches. Matthew wanted us to have a look at some products he was designing. He wanted the opinion of some astrophotographers to see what we thought of his products and how they might be improved. Matthew works out of Adelaide and has been designing these torches for manufacturer in China. Being an astronomer, Matthew knows that white light does horrible things on an astronomy field. His Astro Night products have been developed by modifying existing rechargeable white light torches. Okay, so here we have two torches. I call them the walk-around variety, but they rejoice in the names NMLC and BG58. These are the two that Matthew sent us for our comments. Now, these are awesome torches, and the, the box is pretty schmick too. This one's the NMLC. I normally hold it like that. As you can see, these torches are pretty hefty units. They're designed to be held in your hand while you move around the astro field at night. Uh, let's see, click twice. Uh, this one's the NMLC. It's quite ergonomic, it feels good in your hand, and this one I use literally all the time in the office for when I'm servicing mounts and doing other fiddly stuff. It stands up on its end and there's a powerful magnet down the bottom to, uh, so you can stick it into a, onto a metal base. I normally leave it like that, and it goes on like that. There's a, and there's a metal bit there. The light that comes from the cob is bright and white. If I were walking around at night, not on the astro field, I'd definitely use this while, you know, dog walking or something like that. The initial red light setting is very bright, but the dull one is better, as you can see, and you can also dull it off a little bit more. There. It, turn, it turns down to quite a good level. Now this is how you'd walk around the astro field. Now, set like this, the run time is really long, more than 24 hours, so you could leave it turned on all night, so you wouldn't have to go through that bright white phase again. And to turn it off, you just simply press and hold for a couple of seconds. Yeah. The other thing that's cool about this is it's got a USB power output socket. Um, there. I've used it to power my light box when I'm doing calibration shots. My scope points straight up, put the box on top, and the torch sits on top of that with a cable. Um, it's way better than groping around the dark looking for USB outputs on my mount computer. And I think someone's just about to turn up. Um, the BG58 uh, is even bigger. Um, it's kind of similar, although the design lets you do some different things with it. Uh, the light settings are the same. One click for a torch, bright, uh, bright white cob, dull white, bright red, dull red. And again, you can turn it down even more. I think that's about as low as it goes. So there you go. I'll leave it on. After looking at these guys, we did suggest two improvements. 
First, we really, really wanted them to come on red with the first button press rather than white. And second, we wanted them to be a bit dimmer overall for astro work. Uh, Matthew received that with good grace and went off to address those issues. So the other day, we received some more with the message that they do come on red, and they do. This one's the Proxima. It's a smaller light, and it's designed for hanging on your gear to prevent people blundering into it in the dark. You can strap one to the bottom of a tripod leg uh, pointing downwards, or you can hang it underneath the leg brace on your tripod. Uh, if you're in a high traffic area where people are walking past on both sides of your rig, you might need three, one for each leg, and they come in packs of, in there, they come in packs of three for that. Um, there you go. It comes on dim red first. It's got three brightnesses. Um, I'd use the minimum and leave it going up pretty much all night because its runtime is eight hours on low. And obviously press and hold and it turns off. I like this one a lot. The PI6 is very similar in purpose and used to the Proxima, but it's got a bit more oomph. It puts out about 50% more lumens. The internal battery is a bit larger, but because it puts out more light that, uh, than overall run time is down to about five hours. So it's sort of very similar. Press and hold to, to turn it off. The third red light we have is a head torch. This is called the V340. Now, head torches are really useful for when moving around the field, and especially for when you need to rummage in your kit box for something because it doesn't take away one of your hands. This one has both a white light and a red one. Uh, and because it's designed specifically for astronomy, you press the button and it comes on dim red. It has three brightness settings as well. If you want white light, you can double click it. Ooh, <laughs> that's really bright. Um, this guy has a larger battery capacity, so you can walk around at night with it on, even if you've got it set to, uh, set to white. Um, but don't do that in an astro field. Uh, again, click and, click and hold to turn off. Boink. It's also got a motion detector switch that turns it on and off with the wave of a hand. Uh, let's see, click to turn it on red, and then you turn on the, the little, little thing, and then you just wave it and it turns on and off. I spent a half a day walking around the office with this on my head. Um, I found that you need a bit of practice figuring out not only where to wave your hand to, to turn it on and off, but also how close you have to be to doors or other people to avoiding it turning it on and off. Um, with practice, I think it could be quite good. I also look like a bit of a goose. But the thing I really like about this model is that it always comes on red and it comes on dim. Honestly, the last thing you need in an astro field is a super bright light at head height. Now, speaking of super bright white lights, at the same time as sending us the red ones, Matthew sent a couple of his other torches, that's these guys. These aren't for astronomy, uh, but they'd be great for hiking or walking a dog at night. It's amazing how bright they are. In a shameless cross promotion, I've actually been using the little one, the AX Micro, that one, uh, as a fill-in for my DSLR while taking product shots. Um, the larger one is a walk-around type called an Ori 44, and that one is seriously bright again. Um, but uh, there you go, very, very bright. Um, but it's white, white only, so don't take it to your next star party. So I think Matthew at Astronaut has done a pretty good job getting torches designed especially for astronomers. They're useful and they fill a genuine need. They all come with charging cables and a Velcro strap for cable management or attaching them to your equipment. You'll find them on our website under the Astro Knight brand. Well, I think we're done here. If you like this presentation, check out the others on the Sidereal Trading YouTube channel where you can like and comment, you know, all that YouTube-y stuff. I'm Bill Sent from Sidereal Trading and we'll see you next time.